Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, this is next level. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Samsung unveiled its new chipset, the Exynos 2200 recently, as I stated in my last video, it will power all the S22 devices in the European region. It has better performance than the Exynos 2100 because of its upgraded CPU and AMD GPU, and the company has promised that its new CPU would give sharper imaging and speedier connectivity as well. When comparing the Exynos 2200 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, both of the chips are very similar. Both employ ARM V9 CPU cores and are manufactured using Samsung Foundry's 4 nanometers LPE technology, 1 Cortex X2 core, 3 Cortex A710 cores, and 4 Cortex A510 cores are used in each and both CPUs include quad channel LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage, GPS, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, and 5G connectivity with download speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. Talking about cameras, both flagship CPUs feature camera sensors with a resolution of up to 200 megapixels, and both are capable of capturing 180 8MP photos with no shutter latency. While the Exynos 2200 can take 64MP and 32MP photographs without lag, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 can go a step farther and shoot 64MP plus 36MP images concurrently. Samsung has also stated that their new technology can process four camera feeds at the same time, although the resolution of those streams was not disclosed. It has also been said that the Exynos 2200 has doubled the performance of the Exynos 2100 thanks to its dual-core NPU and DSP but on the other side, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 contains a triple-core NPU. AMD's RDNA 2-based Clips 920 GPU with hardware accelerated ray tracing and VRS is used in Samsung's new processor, and in the meantime the Adreno GPU GPU on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 also supports VRS, but not ray tracing. Furthermore, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1's performance results are in, and the Adreno GPU has outperformed Apple's A15 Bionic to take the top spot in mobile gaming. Although Samsung hasn't released any performance figures, the new Sclips GPU is expected to provide a significant boost in gaming performance. As you can see, on paper, they appear to be evenly matched, and only real-world tests will reveal which chipset provides superior performance and power efficiency, particularly under continuous stress. Since the Galaxy S22 is expected to come in both Exynos 2200 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 variants, side-by-side -side testing of the two processors can indicate which is the better CPU and whether Samsung has finally managed to match or defeat its Snapdragon rival. Apart from that news, the rumor which appeared on the internet saying that Samsung is going to make a 1TB variant of the S22 Ultra seems to be true, but it looks like it will be released in select regions only. Europe will definitely be among the regions where this variant will get distributed while the other regions are still not revealed. That's all that I'm going to share with you guys for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.